Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Brent Brown Toyota here in Orem, Utah, for giving me some time with this car. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a hybrid two liter four cylinder that goes through an eCVT. Fuel economy is 45 around town and then 38 on the highway with power outputs being 196 horsepower combined. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, taking a look at the hood, you guys can see here with the lines there on either side. And I like the silver paint, I think it looks really sharp. And then I'm a big fan of the headlights here with the Corolla Cross. I think they've done a great job with that. And then notice how the Toyota badge is blacked out with this one. Same thing with the grill trim. And then you guys can see we've got fog lights here at the bottom. And putting it all together, let me you guys think about the looks here with the Corolla Cross. Now around the side here, our turn wheel setup is 225, 55, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, you got the silver with the blacked out trim. And then I love the fender flares here. I think those are sharp looking. Got a little splash guard. And look at all that bodywork here on the side. And you guys can see the all wheel drive badge. And then notice the mirror caps and the roof is all blacked out. And then here is your full side view with the Corolla Cross. Now take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We also have the opening here for the hatch, the Toyota logo on top of that. And then popping into the rear, you guys can see we've got a cargo cover here from the factory, JBL sound system, and yeah, decent amount of storage space. The big benefit of this over the Prius per se, right, because very similar with the uh, powertrains, is that, yeah, you've got more vertical space and all that. When you're all done, just press that and that'll lower the hatch right back down. Really cool taillight design. You can see all the badges are blacked out and you got parking sensors here at the rear and putting it all together let me guys think about the looks of this Corolla cross hybrid but i think this is a really cool spec now take a look at the door panel you can see soft touch down below and then i like the cup holder right there and then you've got more soft touch here at the seats you can see with the kind of cloth trim there in the center leg room in the back the Corolla cross is pretty good got the vents here in the center you can see the little storage pocket right there and then got a cup holder armrest and then headroom solid now take a look at the front door panel again soft touch here and you can see down below as well here's all the window controls see the mirror adjustment and then blind spot monitoring with the mirrors as well take a look at the front seat you can see soft touch and look at the trim down the center nice soft touch on the side power adjustments here on the side and you can see with the stability control button right there and then with the dash it's actually not soft touch interestingly enough Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you can see soft touch all around. Got paddle shifters there on the back. We've got stuff for our adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, volume voice command controls as well. You got your stocks here on the back too. And then taking a look at the gauge cluster itself, we can scroll through and see different bits of information here on the car and got our drive modes as well. Now taking a look at the backup camera, you can see trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel, pretty good resolution with the camera system on top of that. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, response time, I mean, pretty solid. It's pretty quick to respond overall. I like the little volume control right there as well. Got our dual zone climate controls here. And then you can see the heated seats down below with a little USB port and then the wireless phone charging pad if it'll focus. There we go. And then yeah, soft touch all over the dash. See there uh, at the top, it's not soft touch. So it looks the same, but it's not the same. And then I like that trim just like on the regular Corolla. Shifter there for the ECVT, and then you can see here with the drive mode select and the EV mode. Parking brake with our auto hold, and then some cup holders, and then decent storage here in the center console. Nice padding on the top. And then you do have a manual mirror dimmer here, and then we've got a center foot top. Now, taking a look at the window stick, you guys can see 2024 Corolla Cross. We've got all the standard equipment here. Base MSRP 31,155, and then there's your total MSRP 36,439, and Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do a blind spot monitoring throughout the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the Corolla Cross Hybrid. 
let us roll off in the rolla, <laughs> right? So, first off, smooth. It's very smooth. And yeah, this is the, I mean, it looks, I mean, powers and everything seems to be the same as the Prius. So I'm going to assume this is the same powertrain that's in the new Prius, which I'm a big fan of. You know, Toyota, they've nailed hybrids. They've nailed the ECVTs, all of it. Yeah, good torque right off the bat. Uh, but obviously this isn't nearly as economical as the Prius because, you know, a little bit heavier vehicle, higher up off the ground. So it's not gonna be as aerodynamically efficient, all of that stuff. But yeah, I mean, still for a crossover, over 40 miles per gallon, it's pretty dang economical if you ask me. Yeah, very smooth. It's very, it's a very comfortable drive. So I think they've, I think they've done a good job there. It's nice. I like it. And the steering wheel, I like the material used too. I think that it just feels pretty dang premium. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking it all in. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything that I don't like so far. Or... But I mean, yeah, so far it's, it's a really pleasant experience drives really well turn that down don't need all that heat yeah this this is powertrain has so much like low end oomph that you just don't really have to get into it all that much yeah it's it handles great it's quick it is quick let me tell you so let's get into let's get into summing things up here with this Corolla Cross. Uh, first off, I think the exterior styling is great. I think it looks fantastic on the outside. I like this interior. Lots of you know nice trim. Seats are comfortable. I think they look pretty solid as well. They're pretty nice. And yeah, it drives well. Um, the the only thing that's kind of like keeps attacking me mentally is Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. Um, I mean, there's a bit of a price difference, obviously size difference too, but I'm just thinking like the Toyota RAV4 isn't all that much worse from a fuel economy perspective. It's a little bit more expensive, not way more expensive, but it's also has more power, not a ton more, but it's got more power and it's bigger. It's got more space. Um, so that's the only thing that I could kind of see going against this. Again, it's if you're like looking at things purely from like a budget perspective and you don't need the bigger size, then yeah, this, this makes all the sense. But yeah, I think the RAV4 hybrid is definitely, it's definitely something that, that jumps out at me. But let me know what you guys think about the Corolla Cross hybrid and let me know if you would get this, the Prius, or if you would go RAV4 hybrid. I know a little bit of a, a little bit of a weird array of cars but also there, there's also a lot a lot related to them